Jess fam put a TikTok out a while back that I had no idea about that I actually just found when I was online looking for something. And it talks about her not feeling comfortable sharing her child's periods anymore. Check it out. I talk about this because a lot of people are like, Jess fam, I see that there's hope for Jess fam. There's not hope for Jess fam. Here's the question. Can you do a girl talk video with Lilia talking about periods, school, and friends? And this is what Jess said. I'm sure the OP of this has good intentions, but I do not and will not talk about periods or any other thing related to my daughters in that way. I'm sorry. Same goes for my sons and any of my kids' personal life. We do share a lot, but we keep even more private. Okay, some of it is up to the child and what they want to share, and some of it won't even consider sharing, regardless of what they want to do or not, till they reach a certain age or can share themselves. Now, my problem with this isn't so much that, you know, Jess is saying that she won't do it, and good for her. I'm glad that she won't do this. So let's give her some props for that. But first of all, why are there people asking this question? And then she says right here, I'm going to answer this question because I surprisingly get it a lot. So why are anybody asking you any questions about your daughter's periods and puberty? And you're getting this a lot? That seems really, really, really inappropriate. Imagine just asking this to a person normally. So anybody who asks this type of question should be in jail. <laughs> Second, you are putting this out there. And so this is an expectation from your fans that you're going to do this because all the other ones do it. So I'm glad that you're not going to do it, Jess fam, but you should be really careful what you put out there because this is the expectation of your fans. Who wants to see this? That is disgusting. Okay? So please just be more careful with what you put out there of your kids on the internet. And thank God she's not going to do this, but we'll see. So I actually have quite a few things to say about this TikTok that Josh posted and talked about of Jess fam. First of all, isn't the goal of the anti-mommy vloggers, isn't their goal that mothers stop sharing personal details and information about their child's life, right? That's the goal. All we want is for moms to stop sharing personal details of their kid's life. Well, clearly that wasn't good enough for Josh. He couldn't just give her props for changing her mind and deciding, hey, I don't feel comfortable sharing this kind of stuff anymore. He still wanted to drag her for things that she may have shared in the past, and now it's her fault that people are asking. Well, all she can do is change, correct? If you actually want someone to change and do better, you applaud them and support them when they do better. But if you are actually just filled with hate and bitterness, you aren't actually going to be happy for someone to change and do better. You will still have something negative to say about them. And I also find it interesting. So this is a point that I bring up a lot in the anti-mommy vlogger community that I don't feel like they actually want the moms to do better. I feel like they are filled with hate, saltiness, and bitterness. And it's not actually about protecting kids online or having the moms do better. It's just about calling them out, using whatever they can against these moms. And you can tell if someone actually is just hating on somebody because no matter what they do, we'll never be good enough. Clearly, just changing her mind and doing better is not good enough for Josh. I also wanted to add, I am so sick of Josh making periods and things like that. Something creepy and weird. He's acting like weird, like peas are asking about the periods and stuff. It's more than likely that moms or teenagers are asking about that stuff so they can relate and see what Jess's children are going through, how to handle it, how to be a mom when you start having kids with periods and stuff. I don't think it's what Josh is making it out to be. Now, the next point I want to make, because this is going to be a quick video, I just found this very interesting that none of the anti-mommy vlogger channels have posted about this. I have not seen one video, and Josh made this post back in January of 2022, and I haven't seen anybody, unless I missed it, 
applauding Jess and praising Jess and talking about her decision to not talk about her daughter's periods. Why are there no videos being made? People jump and immediately post when the moms post. So why wasn't this talk? I'm very confused as to why people are still pushing that Jess is talking about her daughter's periods because that point is brought up all the time when clearly Jess has now made the decision that she's not going to do that anymore. So why is that still being used as an argument? Why is it still being used as tags? I also wanted to talk about a reply that I was sent from Jess Fam to one of her subscribers. So the commenter said, where has Big Caden been? We miss him. And she replied, all of our kids have the choice of whether or not they want to participate in videos. Lately, he's been opting out, and that's totally okay. Um, I think that's great and very interesting because it has been pushed quite a lot that Jess forces her kids to film. She makes them be on camera when she doesn't. And here she's clearly saying that her son has not been on camera because he doesn't want to be, and she's fine with that. So again, why is none of this ever brought up? Why are all these narratives pushed about Jess when clearly she has addressed these things? I think it's great that if her kids don't want to be shown on camera, then she doesn't show them on camera. So... She's also said before, and everybody knows this, even the anti-mommy vloggers, that Jess puts away money for her kids. She pays her kids. So she's doing all the right steps here. So what is the problem? What is the issue still? You may not agree with her parenting style. You may not agree that she's a family vlogger, but... At least she is taking steps to protect her kids on the internet, and that's what matters. It's examples like this on why I don't think that the anti-mommy vloggers want to do better or, like, want the moms to do better or actually acknowledge when they do better. It's all about just bringing them down and dragging them and calling out what they believe to be, you know, evil deeds by the mommy vloggers. You would think when they saw a step like this in the right direction, they would be happy in making videos and praising it. They would be happy and making videos and talking about what a great step in the right direction this is. That Jess is making the decision to do her best not to overshare about her child's private life. But they only seem to make videos when they feel something wrong is done to, with the moms or like they completely ignore when something good is done. Which is fine. You can make videos when wrong is done. But if you are seeing a positive change and that is your main goal is to see that positive change, you would be talking about it. So that's why I don't think they care about positive change or actually bringing awareness. It's just about dragging moms online. And I will keep speaking out about it. I will keep sharing my opinion. I do think the anti-mommy vlogger community is going down a bad path, and I will share it. I also wanted to say that even when videos are made about, you know, say some of the moms taking their kids off the internet, or when the moms make videos saying they're not going to show their kids anymore, I feel like it's more of a, like, our movement is working. See, what we're doing is working more than a, wow, great job. This is positive change. We're happy. We're thrilled. It's more of a like, see, see, what we're doing is working. Our, ta our tactics are working. This is actually doing something. So it's more of a brag and a show off than actually being happy for the moms and saying something positive about them. Because, for example, when Love Meg decided not to show her kids as much on YouTube, Dad Challenge Podcast continued to make videos about her for eight months. Now, he will tell everybody that he did that because she called him a P. But that is a complete lie. He actually made videos on her for eight months 
before that situation even happened. So even though she wasn't showing her kids as much, he was still making videos dragging her and being really demeaning and degrading and bullying her. And I feel like the anti-mommy vlogger community in general is just kind of getting into that bullying, petty, and nitpicking territory. Now, not every channel does that. And when I speak about something about the community, it doesn't mean I think every single creator is doing this. This is just a general vibe I'm getting from the community. And this isn't just a problem in the anti-mom community. This is anti-communities in general. And let me know if you want a full video down below. I can do a full video on my issues with anti-communities, like, say, the anti-dad challenge podcast community. That community also has to be careful because it's really easy to go down the dark road, get really nasty, get really hateful. So any... Any community that is against something and speaking out against something and trying to bring awareness has to be really careful because so many times these communities end up becoming just as bad, if not worse, than what they're speaking out against. And you don't want that to happen because that completely defeats the purpose of what you're doing. And now if you want a good like mommy commentary channel to watch, Go subscribe to Amy Robinson. I think she's amazing. Like, we can add some positivity into this. I think she does a really good job of, like, keeping everybody informed on what's going on with some of the family channels and mommy vloggers. And I like to see and keep up with their drama and stuff like anybody else. I've never been against that. But she's really good at doing it without coming across a bitter and salty and like she just doesn't like the moms. Now, I don't agree with every, you know, take she has or everything she says. There are some things that I don't agree with, but I still like her as a creator and I don't get a vibe from her that she just doesn't like mommy vloggers. And that's why I like her. So I really like that about her and she's very reasonable and logical um, when she makes points and stuff, she doesn't make irrational points that don't make any sense. Um, so I do really like her channel and there are other ones too, but I thought it was very interesting that nobody was talking about this. So we can all be mindful that, you know, when we're calling people out, and we are making videos on problematic behavior that we should also acknowledge positive change. If we see something positive changing about a person and their content, we should applaud that and support it because that's all we want, right? If you're discussing and bringing awareness to a problematic issue, the goal should be that there should be some kind of positive change and accountability, right? So as always, please let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate all of you that stick around here and understand where I'm coming from and understand my points and my perspective on things. I just really appreciate that so much. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.